All right, Hi. Chef Ryan Nelson in our kitchen, Late Harvest Kitchen. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right, welcome back. It's so good to see you. So good to be here. All right, let's talk what you're cooking up today because you said some fancy words that we weren't sure how you pronounce or what they all mean. That's all right. I promise <laughs> it's not too fancy. All right, not too fancy. So we start with uh, a tortilla. A tortilla. And we're going to treat it like a cracker. And we toast it off. You really can't tell that it's a tortilla. It tastes really? like a cracker. <gasps> yep. So it when we have this crust. on the menu at the restaurant, people are always shocked to me. That's a tortilla. That doesn't taste like a tortilla. Interesting. So I've got some ahi tuna here, raw, between two pieces of plastic film. Okay. And I'm kind of just gently patting it with my rolling pin. Maybe roll it a little bit. All right. Get a little more surface area that way. Now is this something that you guys do pretty regularly then? We do. This is a, this is definitely a favorite. Okay. Uh, people really enjoy this. I think people like things that are different. Yeah. Yep. And I think when people are preparing stuff, they like stuff that's easy. Easy. Yep. And this yep. is pretty easy. Easier easy the better. And yep. simple. And then good at the same time. We talk so much about stuff that's um, approachable. I guess you could say that it's not too intimidating. I know when I look at a recipe and I see all these ingredients, Randy. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, no. Uh, <laughs> I just want something easy. Three or four, I'm good to go. I see two ingredients and I go, no, no. <laughs> Allison, else my wife, where are you? Here yes, are you? exactly. So then I take our yuzu koshu, which is a Japanese. Did you get that? Yeah, yuzu yes. koshu. Japanese oh, yeah. uh, citrus, <laughs> kind of like a grapefruit, mixed with uh, like a chili paste. Oh. And then we add a little bit of roasted garlic and some mayonnaise. Oh, this is good. And that's like good. our that's our sauce, if you will. I feel like this kind of sauce I would want to use for multiple dishes. Oh, Do definitely. you use it for other things? Definitely. We use it with uh, other tuna dishes. We use it with uh, our calamari. We use it with Ooh. fried oysters. Okay, Randy. Yep. I know you're kind of a meat and potatoes guy, so I'm going to ask you, how do you feel about trying something like this? I'll try it. You'll try nice. it. Okay. Nice. If it's on indie style, it's good. Know that. <laughs> yes. Well, there you go. I'm not going to lead you the wrong way. No, right. of course not. So then we've got our coverage there. And we do a little squeeze it's, of lemon. What, what is that you just oh, put on there? That's the that's the tuna. Tuna. Okay. That's our ahi tuna. A little bit of lemon. I know some people, and the reason I ask is some people are like, if it's not cooked, I don't know. If it's kind of this, you know, raw type of deal. A little bit of salt, oh, so and good. then our our smoked soy sauce, which adds smoked another smoked soy sauce. Another you know that's kind of flavor. Be good. Huh. I just love the smoky flavor and things just like a that. A little bit of truffle so. oil. Kind of that je ne sais quoi, kind of what is that je flavor? Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. I can't say, that. <laughs> say that three times already. Uh, <laughs> and then some, just some fresh chives. And there you go. And that's, that's our tuna pizza. And that's your tuna pizza. Yeah. Hey, I love it. Okay, we'll cut what's, some slices. I was going to ask, what's the best way to cut this? Just like so. Yep, just, just like, like a pizza. That. Okay. Now, do people, is this considered an appetizer? Yes, this is definitely okay. an app. Okay. And you could serve this and do this ahead of time and kind of just like leave it out as an appetizer. Yeah. Super easy. If mm. I wanted to try to do something like this or some type of version, could I, like, is it tortilla? You just kind of put it in the oven and then I kind of make my own sauce, perhaps? Like five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Easy. There easy. You go, right easy peasy. Easy pizza, like pizza pie. There you go. Now, just transfer that back to the plate. Which means yes, I transfer it over. Transfer to it down to this yeah, end of the desk. And myself. See, now that there are little pieces, I can go try ahead. one and you can try Let one. Let the lady go first. Oh, you that's so sweet. Okay. All right. Oh. Oh, that good. sauce is killer. Like that, huh? Oh, that's good. It is different. But it is good. Thank it you. is good, yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah, That's absolutely. really delicious. Okay, where can we find you? Where can we come see you? I know you've got a Mother's Ooh. Day brunch coming up here shortly sure. as well. We're up on uh, 86th Street. We're directly east of the Fashion Mall. Okay. And uh, next Sunday, our only brunch of the year, we do a Mother's Day brunch. That's incredibly popular, so I would suggest getting reservations. Reservations. It's going What fast. does that consist of? It's an a la carte menu, uh, brunch classics, but also kind of fun stuff. There you go. You know, different unique dishes fun as well. Fun stuff. Very good. Treat mom. Well, yep, thank yep, you yep. so much, Chef Ryan. We appreciate it. We will have more coming up from you in just a little bit. Anessa, he likes it. Well, what is it? What is it? What is it saying? Mikey likes it. Like with a cereal. <laughs> Randy a likes it. Randy <laughs> likes it. Hey, uh, Alice, have you ever had ahi tuna before? Did mm. you say that? Nope. Never before. Yeah. Nope. Okay, it's my favorite food. So I have segment huh. envy right now because you're eating my favorite food, my friend. I'm glad you enjoyed it.